Okay, here we are in our geek holiday slash recovery mission. Got a shovel, a camera, and a tripod. That seems really well thought out. I just want to get a little shot of this road in the daylight. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, man. Crashed. How the frick am I gonna drive on that? Wow. This was freshly graded two weeks ago. You can see the smooth edge here. It was not like that. And once again, to any aspiring road engineers, you cannot build the road below ground level. It doesn't work. Plus, I mean, that's kind of part of the problem. When you scrape the road, you break up all the roots, and that's what holds the dirt together. That's a really good example right there. Wow. I wonder if some of that is maybe old ruts that they just shoveled the, you know, scraped the dirt back into. And I'm glad I didn't try to walk through that. Holy cow. Yeah. Although that's that's what the the greater guy was saying is there is rock underneath. You get down to it. It's about two feet, three feet down. Oh yeah. Couldn't see that. There was water. Whole lot of water. Okay. So I think I'm gonna plan on backing up. Try to back up. See, this is what I was talking about. Every few feet, there's another stream. And it was all just coming right across the road. And that's all the way across this half of the property. At all angles. Runs pretty much straight south. I was in about eight inches of water last night coming in. So by the time I got the gate open, I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna close it. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Okay, I'm not expecting any miracles. I dug around the wheels a little bit. I'm going to try to rock it forward and then go backwards. Um, I'm just about down on the skid plate in the front. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to get underneath and jack it because I don't know how to get down there. It's down so low. Those running boards would seriously be in my way if I was going to try to jack it on the frame on the sides. The back I got easy access to, but I don't need that as much. So we're going to fire it up and see what happens.
I can honestly say that growing up with my dad on the farm has paid off. So thank you, dad. Um, if you're spinning, stop. Last night there wasn't much of an option once you're in it, you're in it, but yeah, I'm, I was scraping the skid plate in the middle, so I couldn't, yeah, basically it couldn't go down anymore. Yeah, okay. Um, also those Chinese maypops are horrible in the mud, but what are you gonna do? When I get caught up on money, I'm gonna definitely get, probably put those BF Goodriches back on. I like those. Probably do a lift kit and get it up a little bit higher. I think that would be a good idea. All right, so, but yeah, what I did, I dug holes in front of the wheels and back of the wheels uh, so that I could rock it a little bit and then it just popped right out as you can see. Um, Don't just sit there and spin and spin and spin. You know, move it a little bit, hold the brakes, get it to stop, go back, try it. If it doesn't work, then come out and dig some more. The next step would have been, I've got a floor jack. Um, I probably would have ended up digging under the front and the center, trying to dig a hole to get the jack under the skid plate. I don't know how effective that would have been. Um, get the truck up a little bit, get some sticks, rocks, whatever, under the tires, and then it won't be dragging, and then from there it probably would have came out. So, uh, I could replace, replace my divot. At this point, the road is so mangled anyway, I don't know that it's worth the trouble. Uh, I th I'm just going to drive right next to it, and then we're, from there we'll see what happens. So, a little bit of shoveling worked. I think the biggest thing that made the difference is I just let it dry out, you know, because once the dirt's dry, uh, you got a lot better traction. Plus, I wasn't actually in the water, you know, before. I mean, it was, water was running. I mean, the running boards were in the water and it was running past me, so. Uh, yeah. As things go, it could have been a lot worse. Really. <laughs> okay, so let's get home. Because the road, which is more packed down than my driveway, is in such horrible shape, I did make it. I kept my speed up so I could float over any soft spots. The side that I made the tracks on seems to be the high side. The low side is where most of the washout happened. So I got a pretty good run in there, no problem. Uh, I decided to back into my driveway so I don't block the road. And that went well enough. Uh, I'm gonna leave the truck here for now and let everything dry out if if it rains again, this is not a horrible place to be. It's higher than the road. Um, last night, this was fairly walkable. No, it wasn't. Actually, there was still water to walk through up here, but I'm in kind of a higher spot, so the majority of the water should flow away from it. Um, I think. Yeah, that's not a bad spot to leave it. Look at all the mud packed on the tires, though. 